One sign of spring that we can see is sap flowing through deciduous trees like this sugar maple. It is part of nature in our backyard that we can turn into a real sweet treat, maple syrup. Trees are usually tapped in mid-March when freezing nights give way to thawing temperatures during the day. The freeze-thaw cycle gets the sap moving. Sugar maples are the most popular trees to tap because they have the highest concentration of sugar in their sap, around 3%. Other maples that can be tapped include silver maples, red maples, and ash leaf maples. Another factor that can affect how much sugar is in sap is how much photosynthesis takes place in the summer. Trees that get more sunlight produce more sugar. Also, trees that have more leaves produce more sugar in their sap because more photosynthesis occurs. Trees must be at least 10 inches in diameter to be tapped. Trees over 18 inches can take two taps, and trees over 28 inches in diameter can take three taps. Where you place the tap determines how much sap you will collect. Taps should be positioned above a large root or below a large branch where there is more sap flowing. Also, the southeast to southwest sides of the tree thaw faster in the morning. If you have sugar maple trees in your backyard, tapping them is a fun spring activity. All you need is a drill, a hammer, a maple sugar spout, and a container to collect the sap. Drill a hole about one to two inches into the bark. Use the hammer to tap the maple sugar spout into place. Then hang the bucket on it. Each tap can yield around five to 15 gallons of sap in a season, and you will need around 40 gallons of sap to produce one gallon of syrup. Maple syrup has a boiling point of about 7 degrees higher than water, so when your liquid reaches 219 degrees Fahrenheit, the syrup is done. Maple syrup tastes great on everything from pancakes to ice cream, so whether you visit a sugar bush or make your own, maple syrup is a sweet treat from nature in your backyard.